Hi, my name is Michael Lord. I'm the Director of Content Development at Historic Hudson Valley. Welcome to Washington Irving Sunnyside. So Washington Irving is probably most famous these days for being the author of the legend of Sleepy Hollow, the Headless Horseman in Ichabod Crane, and Rip Van Winkle. And he really gave America a certain amount of credence. Sunnyside is located at the end of Sunnyside Lane right at the base of the Hudson River. Irving purchased the land here, 10 or 12 acres in fact, in 1835 and began construction of his home immediately after that. As to the design of the house, Irving actually designed it himself with a close friend of his, George Harvey, a local artist that lived along the Hudson as well. The name Sunnyside derives from a letter that Washington Irving wrote to his niece in 1841. And on the letterhead for the first time, comes the name Sunnyside. When you first approach Sunnyside from the land, you'll notice a tremendous amount of foliage growing around the entire house. There are English cluster chimneys at the top of the house. There are Dutch stepped gables. There is an Italianate piazza. There are Roman arches. A little bit of all of Europe combined together into this pastiche that created a new American form of architecture. As you enter into Washington Irving's home, if you look down, you'll notice a tiled floor. Washington Irving put these Minton tiles in, so every time we walk into this house, we're walking in the footsteps of Washington Irving. It's a wonderful feeling. To the right, the first room you enter is Washington Irving's study. We're very happy that much of the furniture and all of his books belong to Washington Irving. In the middle of the room was the desk that Washington Irving wrote many of his stories, and the room itself is designed exactly the way that it looked during Irving's time. In 1848, progress came to Sunnyside in the form of a railroad. This is one of the earlier railroads that came up the Hudson River line, and they ended up building that railroad directly in front of Washington Irving's Sunnyside. He wasn't happy about this, but also soon realized that he could now get into New York City and take care of his business much quicker by rail than if he had to take a boat to get into the city. Washington Irving's dining room is on the west side of his house, facing the Hudson River for beautiful views. Irving entertained his family here, but Irving also entertained presidents as well as a number of other powerful leaders. In fact, the dining room table, several of the chairs around the table, and even the dinnerware are uh, part of Washington Irving's collection. The parlor was a family-sized room for Irving. In the parlor, you notice the piano forte, the portrait of Washington Irving in 1809 from John Wesley Jarvis. This shows Irving at his most romantic. He was only 26 years old and sitting on top of the world at the time, he had just published his first major work, The History of New York, under the pseudonym of Diedrich Knickerbocker. Off of the parlor is a little alcove of sorts. Visitors don't generally get to go into it, but it's a portrait gallery and it contains a number of small little sketches and illustrations that Irving had collected over the years, including portraits, of himself, of Sunnyside, and his good friend, uh, Sir Walter Scott. He chose to live on the southeast side of Sunnyside to catch the morning light. In his bedroom, Washington Irving kept a number of small cherished possessions, paintings on the wall. One of them represented Washington Irving as a child meeting his namesake, George Washington, who was president at the time. Washington Irving had bumped in to George Washington in a bookstore. And when Washington Irving said that he was named after George Washington, apparently George Washington patted him on the head and gave him his blessing. Irving created a guest room, reminding him of his apartment that he had in Paris for a number of years. He designed the wallpaper to look like his Paris apartment. His nieces lived above stairs, as well as his brother, who spent a number of years with Washington Irving in the 1830s and 40s. The importance of a place like Sunnyside is the ability to immerse yourself and to walk in the footsteps of people that came before you and understand a little bit about how we've gotten to where we are today. So thank you for taking a look at Sunnyside. You are welcome to visit us anytime. Come on up and enjoy your stay.
Thanks for watching. Like what you see on the show? Well, be sure to subscribe to our channel. We have so many more beautiful homes to share. How about love? Share these homes, you know?